Action! Before I let you go, there's one more thing. No mobile phones. You need a social media free weekend, ladies. Oh Come on, God. cough them up, let's go. There's no reception yeah, out there well. anyway. I'm sorry, uh, how will we take... Are you going to take selfies? You may go. Come on. You'll survive. There you go. Great. Lucky dust. When Robert Connolly's adaptation of The Dry by Australian author Jane Harper hit theatres in 2021, it was a huge hit. Luke drove to his house at 4.30, killed his family, and headed here to kill himself. You're convinced he did it. What do you think? Eric Banner as Federal Agent Aaron Falk, returning to his hometown in regional Victoria to face demons from his past while being roped into a murder investigation. What's not to love about that? Well, the film earned more than $20 million at the box office and prompted breathless opinion pieces about the rebirth of Australian cinema. And make no mistake, the film is a cracker from a director with a lot of runs on the board, like Balibo, Paper Planes and The Turning, to name a few. But there's an important caveat on its box office success. There was bugger all else to see at the time. If you were a grown-up on New Year's Day in 2021 who preferred adult drama without superheroes in spandex, which, by the way, is a demographic that historically puts bums on cinema seats, The Dry was almost your only option. Without going too deeply into a pandemic flashback, studios were withholding content at the time and Connolly's film made the most of it, with one of the biggest opening weekends for an Aussie movie at the domestic box office. Of course, it certainly didn't hurt that Harper's book was a bestseller, and the commercial success of the movie, added to Harper penning two more folk murder mysteries, meant a sequel or two were inevitable. So along comes the dry two force of nature, with Banner reprising his role as Agent Falk for another mystery in regional Victoria, and Connolly back behind the camera. Alice? Alice? Thank God, can you hear yeah. me? Are you okay? Daniel knows. Are you Alice? This time, it's the disappearance of one of Falk's sources, played by Anna Torv, who is about to rat on her money laundering boss, played by Richard Roxburgh. But she falls victim to an apparent foul play on a corporate team building weekend in the dense bushland of the Victorian Alps. It's then a race against the clock for Falk and his by the book partner, played by Romper Stomper star Jacqueline McKenzie, if they are to locate their source and her intel before a killer storm front hits the region. That all sounds pretty promising, right? Well, the performances from Banner, Torv and Roxburgh are great and Connolly does a top job of turning the stunning landscape into a character in its own right. But the problem with The Dry 2 is the book on which it's based is just not very good. There's a duty of care for one thing and if you go back then all of us are going to go with you. Well I could just take Bree and then you three can go on. Oh. oh. The plot is mediocre at best and, try as they might, Connolly and co struggle to wring any real suspense out of it. The dialogue is decidedly mundane, verging on cliché, and it wastes the talents of a fine cast of established and new actors. Amazingly, this sequel also arrives in a relatively barren release window, so it should make some money. But don't go into it thinking it'll live up to the original. The Dry 2 Force of Nature gets three stars. And cut.